Hello everyone, my name is Yasmin and welcome to my channel. Today is Saturday, the 10th of December and this is Flossmas number 10. Uh, welcome to all of my returning viewers and special welcome to all of my new subscribers. Um, if you only joined recently, I hope you um, enjoy today's uh, uh, video, but also I hope you will look back on the videos from the very beginning to just kind of check what I have been up to since uh, December 1st. Um, it is Saturday. I only got home, I don't know, maybe an hour ago. Uh, I was in college all day and I uh, I was actually rushing home today because uh, Morocco played, uh, played against uh, Portugal so I've missed the first half an hour of the game but I return uh, for the remaining 20 minutes of the second half and it was uh, brilliant I am so happy Morocco is through uh, to a semi-final for the very first time in a history I mean when I said to you, my husband almost cried uh, when Morocco qualified for this game. If you could see him after the, you know, after Morocco officially won the game, he danced. He danced uh, around the sitting room, which was hilarious because I don't know if you have ever seen a traditional Moroccan dance. Um, uh, it's really funny looking. So I um. Uh, yeah, I invite you to, you know, to go and search it up. It is funny. Uh, it's like uh, twerking, but in a um, uh, little bit less, less sexual way. It was hilarious. Uh, that's how happy he was. So um, it is a fantastic, fantastic news. And because of that, I just kind of feel like, you know, I have a party in my head because I cannot, uh, you know, collect my, my thoughts. <sighs> I'm going to be doing my best. Um what was yesterday? Yesterday was Friday and I have been stitching quite a lot in the evening. Uh, but before we go into it, I would like to tell you about this, <laughs> tell you a story. No, I'm not going to tell you a story. I would love to tell you uh, what type of tea I have got in my cup today. So under box number 10, there is salted caramel and wait for it. Lip, lip kuchen. I'm doing my best German accent, but it is uh, it, it it translates to English as a gingerbread. So it is a salted caramel and gingerbread uh, a tea, and I mean it smells divine. It just like <laughs> I'm like a broken record because I keep saying the same things every single day. Uh, but those teas in this advent calendar, which I will just quickly flash it to, uh, to you, is magnificent. Um, it was thirty-eight pounds, and each of the box uh, contains uh, two tea bags of the same tea, and there are twenty-four varieties, um, you know, in entire calendar. So I have got forty-eight teas, and are absolutely gorgeous. I also wanted to show you. I hope I have not messed up the order. Um, Right, so I also arranged them as I tried them already. I arranged them in the kind of uh, a scoring system where the top is the my most favorite and the bottom is the least favorite. Um, so yeah, I haven't tasted this tea yet, but just judging uh, how well, how, how beautifully it smells, I know it's going to be divine. So it says has got medium caffeine, should be brewed for four minutes. And then again, there are two options with milk or without. Ingredients, Sri Lankan black tea, gingerbread, apple pieces, cinnamon, cinnamon, rose heap, cardamom, cloves, orange peel and natural flavoring. So I will be slurping on my tea very, very soon. Um... Sorry, I have got a little bit uh, a chaos in my head trying to collect my thoughts. Uh, I think before I will go into tea, uh, I'm going to show you my stitching from last night. Because I've actually finished a few things which I am really, really happy about. Um, so I've worked last night on the free chart from Plum Street Samplers. Uh, the 12 days of Christmas and I completed second day 
excuse me, a third day. So uh, I finished, what I mean by finished, I finished all of the white elements because if you have not been here before or you, um, you are not familiar, I am stitching this project using B5200 and a gold metallic. However, I've run out of metallic thread and at this moment I am only doing all of the white elements. So I'm hoping by tomorrow my um, my gold metallic will be here so I can go back to this uh, two, three blocks and just, um, you know, do the all of the gold uh, elements. So this was the first day of Christmas. Yesterday I finished the second day of Christmas, which are the two turtle doves. And also finish the third day of Christmas, which is the three French hen. And I I finished all of the inside, of course I have to still do the framing, but I've also run out of uh, B5200, so yeah. I placed my order with Pachua Gravit uh, uh, today, so hopefully by Tuesday, I'm hoping maybe way Wednesday the latest, it should be with me. I've also had um, this Needleminder in one of the wallets from my Needleminder um, Advent Calendar, which I open every third day. So yes, so follow up on this project, as I've mentioned, once the gold metallic is here, I will be, um, you know, filling uh, all of the missing elements. Now, I've also run out of this fabric, which was a uh, 28 count cashew linen, but I have got 32 count uh, Wix Dye Works Astig Red, and I will continue with the same colors with the B2, uh, B5200 and the gold metallic. And I would love to do uh, one day of Christmas a day because uh, they are quite, they are not, uh, you know, like a stitch heavy. You know, if I was able to do two in one evening, then, you know, I, I think I would be able to complete one whole um, day in day in a one day right so this is all my stitching from last night i don't think so i have stitched on on anything else no i haven't stitched on anything else but today as i was in college i on my lunch break i take with me um this tiny uh kit which was part of my gift slash uh, Christmas small exchange um, and my partner was Ross from Los, uh, Ross Clark's craft on Etsy, Instagram and YouTube so I just I stitched for one hour today and this is how much I've managed to do so I don't have much left because I just need to work on the lights now and do the snow on the bottom and the yellow for candy cane and then backstitch and I am pretty much done with this project. It is really, really sweet, uh, tiny, tiny project and I will turn this into um, a ornament, hoop ornament. I have got four inch hoop which perfectly fit onto this project. So yeah, and uh, did I, I, I use, I'm using the fabric and the threads from the kit. Right, so this is my stitching as of last night and today. I've also said yesterday that I do not want to start anything until I finish one of the projects, uh, you know, which I started, you know, from the 1st of December. However, since I've run out of threads for my 12 days of Christmas, I will be st starting a new uh, project tonight. Um, actually, I was enabled by Charlie from Charlie Feathers, um, who uh, contacted me to kind of go through the list of DMCs, which I included in my free chart, which I released on 6th of December. I will include picture over here. And uh, she wanted to verify if 
the color I meant to use for the skin tone is right one, which um, since I'm talking about that, it would be a great opportunity to mention then 3773, which I charted uh, currently is being replaced uh, and it has got new number 407. So if you have got old 3773, use it. If you do not have it, then 407 is the one to look for because 3773 is not longer available. But obviously, if you would like to change the skin tone or use your own colors for the chart, then just, you know, feel free to do so. And also Charlie invited me to join her uh, as teacher along, which is um, hashtag uh, clumsy helper. And I will be starting this tonight. I haven't gone through, I haven't, you know, uh, put all of the colors uh, together yet, but I will be doing, I will do this right after I finish recording. And also this is when I need your input. Sorry, I have good try try throat. Mm -hmm. Oh, this tea is really strong. So I think splash of milk uh, for me would would uh, would be recommended. Although I like strong tea, I think the milk would work very well and a, a teaspoon of honey. So my second cup, I will try to put one teaspoon of honey and uh, and uh, oat milk. Mm. Really, really lovely. It smells and tastes like uh, Christmas because uh, uh, the gingerbread, which in Poland we call piernik, it is a king of um, of Christmas cakes, and I bake uh, a piernik each uh, each year for Christmas. So this year I will be baking as well. If you would like the recipe, just let me know. I will include in the description box. Um, you know, closer. You know, towards uh, towards Christmas. Mm. This is lovely. Right. So now I need your input in deciding what to do. Um, I did show you a few episodes, a few episodes back. I think maybe one or two back. Um, then this year I've only managed to stitch one of the Prairie School as Santa. However, I have whole collections, uh, whole collection of uh, Prairie School as Santas. Uh, so I have got the small cards, but I also have got... Um, you know the, you know like the uh, revisited Santas, and um, so I have them all. I also have got uh, the Twelve Days of Christmas, which is a kit. So the fabric and flosses are included, and there's one more which I need to dug out from my stash. Now my question is. What would you recommend? Would you recommend for me to stitch 12 days of Christmas as a one piece? Or should I stitch it as an individual pillow? I really, I am very undecisive. I'm not quite sure which I would prefer. Uh, you know, when I think of it, I would love to have a, a, a like a, maybe not double, but like a bowl or basket full of Prairie School Santas from, you know, all these years I've managed to collect. But then I thought I could have those 12 days of Christmas stitch on a one piece and just kind of, you know, have it prompt on my wall and then the basket in front of it. Or maybe I should stitch them as an individual pillow and make them part of the, you know, individual Santa collection. I don't know. What do you think would, would be best? Um, obviously, I would love to start this project on Monday. So if you have got any thoughts and if you just, you know, let me decide, help me decide, uh, please leave the comment underneath underneath the box so on Monday I could actually start working on it and since I don't like this fabric which is included I'm not even quite sure what it is uh, I will be using 28 count light mocha Britney Lugana and of course I will use the colors from the kit so this is my Monday plan and 
and yes and also if you would like to join um charlie stitch along and stitch together with us please go to my instagram account download yourself this free chat and uh, join us in fun use the hashtag uh, clumsy santa right so this is the stitchy part i've also if you have been here yesterday i promised to tell you about uh fish in a, in a bathtub well I'm not sure how you know how familiar uh, you are with uh you know the content uh you know all the meals which are presented on the Polish uh, Christmas table but they are very uh, different to uh you know the things uh you know you would find traditionally on the British table so the first of all um we don't eat meat on the on the Christmas uh, 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 dinner and also our Christmas dinner is on a Christmas Eve. So the Christmas Eve actually is the most important, is more important day for us. This is when we having a massive dinner, we sit together and uh, and then the Christmas day is another big day, but uh, but we have got like a Christmas lunch and, you know, it's kind of different type of food uh, which is being served. And why did I tell you about the fish in the in the bathtub? because the main ingredients on a polish christmas table is fish and uh the fish which is uh not called for <laughs> i'm saying uh, 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 the type of fish which is on the table um it is carp i will include the picture and also you know the the word uh, itself and since it is a a pond and river fish it needs to uh, you know, swim in a clean water for a little while uh, to clean, you know, all of the inside before it can be, um, you know, marinated and, and served on a Christmas day. So in Poland, uh, about four to five days before the Christmas Eve, um, we go to the market and we buy a fresh uh, live fish, which then you would let it swim in your bathtub or basin or you know or any other type of you know like a massive paddling pool so you have got enough space for fish actually freely swim around before you uh, uh, kill it and you you know and you do all of the cooking preparation so when i was a child uh, that was actually a really really um you know lovely activities in the morning when i wake up you know you go to the bath and you know you've got like a two or three uh, massive fishes uh you know swimming in your bathtub and you you know like you watch them and then every time you want to have a shower and every time when you want to have a bath then you you know your mom needs to inflate this uh, massive pond or you trying to find the biggest you know basin or the biggest pot in your house so you can safely you know move the fish it was like a whole halabaloo and it was always um uh, you know it was an enjoyable experience but it also was very stressful uh, as well because you know for five days you had to you know take the fish in and out of the bathtub so you could use it and then you know like it was four of us at home so imagine if four people needed to take the bath at a different time uh it was just a chaos but but yes we we do keep a fish uh in a bathtub for a few days uh before it actually ends up on the table and this is something which is still uh you know cultivated there's a lot of people who go for a different type of fish uh because the fish which is uh you know traditionally on the table has got very specific taste which is not everybody's cup of tea now i've only managed to get a fish uh, this type of fish for christmas only once throughout the uh, 19 years i have been living in the uk and uh and it wasn't live fish it was already you know filleted and you know everything it's been done so i just bought a pieces but each year i do we do have a fish um uh, on the christmas uh, eve dinner because i am pescatarian my uh my family eats meat but we kind of follow my tradition but on top of that i also do the turkey because you know it's a british tradition and you know we're all british and you know we're making influences from from everywhere and on top of that i do malokan maroc moroccan lamb so you know we've got three nations together at one uh, table so yeah 
So this is your fish in a, in a bathtub story uh, for tonight. I think each day I will be introducing a different meal because our traditional uh, Christmas Eve dinner uh, contains of 12 different uh, uh, um, food, different dishes, and each of them represents something or symbolizes something. That's what the uh, fish symbolizes, but, uh, but I will do my research and I'll tell you tomorrow. And I also tell you about some other things which are, uh, you know, important on our tables, but also the, the, the layout of the table and uh, extra kind of bits which are included as well, because I think are very different to a, a British table and I have never come across anybody else uh, doing this type of things um, or this type of tradition or approaches when uh, getting ready for, for Christmas dinner. So I hope you enjoyed a little bit of Polish uh, traditions uh, and, uh, and, you know, and custom in today's video. And I will see you tomorrow later in the evening. Uh, I will be watching football tonight again because, you know, England is playing. Uh, and then tomorrow I really would love to go for the Christmas market with my children to Covent Garden. And, you know, maybe on the, uh, uh, I'm not quite sure if the South Bank already have got, you know, this uh, winter um, kind of market where winter stores when you can buy lots of different things and, you know, malt wine and all of those stuff. Um, so, yeah, so I think I will be recording quite late tomorrow, but I will be definitely, I will definitely be back. So have a wonderful, wonderful evening and I will see you all tomorrow. Bye bye.